Hello everyone, while garlic season is in the full swing, so today I'm gonna show you my favorite way of how you can use it. Green pesto with almonds and gruyere. So let's do it. A few days ago I found this lovely place with wild garlic everywhere, so I decided to pick up some and use it for any recipe. So we all know basic classic pesto, right? Basil, pine nuts and parmesan. So now I'm gonna show you my favorite variation, which I really think is working with wild garlic, gruyere and almonds, plus one bonus component. So let's do it. I have here all the ingredients and I started with filling my blender with wild garlic. I'm not giving you an exact recipe like always, because you can really adjust it how you like. For me, I love cheese, so I put good amount. Maybe for you, if you really like almonds, you can put even double amount as I did. I'm gonna season it with salt and pepper, and my secret ingredients are the anchovies. They are one of my favorite things to cook with, and they're gonna give you amazing taste inside the pesto. But of course, if you don't like them, just take them out. And the last thing you need is oil. Classic pesto is with olive oil. For me, I like to mix 50% olive oil and 50% of vegetable oil. So you can do 50-50 or 100-0, that's up to you. And the last thing you wanna think about is how much oil to put. If you wanna make really thick pesto, maybe to make some dots, put less oil. If you wanna use it maybe for pasta later on, put more oil as I did. And also you can think about texture, so you can mix it more to make really smooth pesto or just leave it rough. Then you will store it in any closeable container and if you want to keep it for a long time, I recommend you to put thin layer of the oil on the top and like this will the pesto last in the fridge even for a few months. And if you want to get another inspiration for wild garlic, check out this video and learn how you can make amazing wild garlic green oil at home. Thank you for watching and I see you soon.